I think there was a stripper. I think her name was Desiree. And I think she had a brother. Yeah, I'm sure that was her brother. And he wanted me to play a song, but I could not remember. A stupid song called You Again. And I didn't want to play it, so I'm sure I didn't play it. Things got really ugly. So I drank all his Bacardi. Had another drink or two. Let me get in. <laughs> We're doing great. great. We just came off stage, and boy, what a great place. What a great audience. Tell me a little bit about the what you guys thought of the Opera House. Oh, it's fantastic. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, there are so many uh, uh, great historic theaters around Kansas, and there are so many great efforts to restore them and make them beautiful again. Yep. Wow, what a beautiful piece yeah. of work this place it, is. It is a heck of a deal. Absolutely spectacular. Hats off to everybody uh, and hats off to the community for all the work that went into putting this together. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about your music. You guys did a little bit of mixture of everything tonight, which well, was kind of cool. Um, well, I'll talk because I can talk for him. He, uh, Brian writes this stuff <laughs> and uh, he ranges all over the place, as you can tell in his lyrics and the music. And We've been playing together for a really long time. Uh, 107 years, probably half our lives <laughs> <laughs> together, and uh, some of these have accumulated over a long period of time. Uh -huh. Some of the ones we did are fairly some new. Some of them are pretty new. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we just uh, we get together about once a week and get together and work on tunes that come out of his head. And uh, I'd say some of our songs are uh, easily old enough to drive cars. Uh, probably, drink. Drink. probably old enough to drink. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, then some of our cars, are, some of our <laughs> some of our songs are just probably getting the first candle on their birthday cake at this yeah. point. Yeah. Uh -oh. new ones too, so. Now uh, I was reading through the website. You guys met working in the. Oh, we, yeah, we met working at the Wichita Eagle, yeah. Where, yeah. where I still work yeah. after 25 years later. And, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we met there. Uh, I think you'd come out to see one uh, band I was in. And That's right. Like, and I noticed that Dennis had the exact same kind of guitar pickups that I did. And it's a kind of guitar pickup that really nobody else uses at, except for, you know, the yeah, cool kids. Like, <laughs> and so, yeah, we had something to bond over yeah. immediately. Yeah. Something to talk about. That's, uh, that, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, explain the name Back Porch Buddha. <laughs> this well, whole thing. Because, I, I, like I told you before, the uh, earlier tonight we were talking before the pre-interview, I've heard you guys last night called everything from back porch Buddha, uh, backyard Buddha. Uh, there's all, there was all one more. What was the other one? There was uh, 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 barnyard Buddha. Barnyard Buddha. Barnyard that was Buddha. the other one. Yeah. How about backbiting Buddha? Backbiting Buddha. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Back porch Buddha, it, it doesn't really mean anything. We kind of picked it because of the way it sounds. Yes. Uh, but we've had friends come up to us and explain to us what the name means, which I thought was really kind of them. <laughs> and uh, basically, I'm glad that they know your group better than you guys. They, well, yeah. and yeah. That, you'd be surprised <laughs> how much that happens. You know, usually when I write a song, I don't have any idea what it's about for about a year. And then I finally figure out, oh, so that's what I was writing about. So yeah, I guess this name is sort of similar to that. <laughs> Now, 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 you guys uh, play all around the area? Yeah, we do. Uh, we play around Wichita and uh, then, you know, describe a circle uh, 100 miles all the way around it. And that's, we're, we're open to about anything. Stomping yeah. grounds. Yeah, that's, that's right. cool. Yeah. Now, you guys have been in a lot of historic theaters all over the place. We've been in a how few. Is, how, does this, how does the Opera House compare to some oh. of the... Uh, this is stellar. It's just absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. One of the things I really love about this place is it's kind of a short distance to the back wall. It has a lot of seats. It has a lot of capacity. Uh, uh, and it's a, it doesn't come off as a small theater, but that back wall is pretty close. And boy, that's really great for the acoustics. That's great for the audience. What that means is there's not a bad seat in the house. Yeah. And, uh, and from a sonic perspective, it's really a beautiful, compact kind of sound. Mm -hmm. In terms of the way it looks and in terms of how comfortable it is, well, it's a model. It's an absolute model. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, what, what, with your guys' music, what sort of specific themes do you cover in your, in your tunes? Because I'll tell you, just, just from listening to your stuff out there, 
it's all over the map and it's and it's fantastic stuff that's what i like to hear you know uh all over the map is kind of what i shoot for i suppose if there's a i suppose if there are any recurring themes it's kind of uh uh kind of awareness of what's going on being open to change and uh sort of sort of not just learning to accept life, but learning to really, uh, really relish and enjoy and feel great about the life that we're yeah. living. You know, we have a wonderful, um, we have a wonderful slice of America right here in the heartland, and um, uh, it just feels really good to live here and to be among people like this. And I suppose if there's a if there's a chewy center to these songs, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, social media, websites, how do we get a hold of you guys? Find us at backporchbuddha.com. Uh, if you spell back, porch, and Buddha all correctly, you'll get there. Uh, <laughs> and on fa we'll find, you can also find us on Facebook. We have a, we have a Facebook page. And That's then, of awesome. course, uh, now, this is my only uh, band that I'm in. Dennis is in. Dennis plays with all kinds of people. Uh, he has. Uh, he's with Mischief Makers. He uh, sits in regularly with uh, Haymakers, and he has a fantastic bluegrass band called Pop and the Boys, all out of Wichita. So uh, he, he's well. Yeah, he gets around. You know, <laughs> that makes me sound cheap, Brian. Well, I, that's not what I was shooting for, but you know, yeah. attach your own meaning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, we 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 uh, play around quite a bit. Well, good stuff. And well, Dennis is. Uh, you, it's easier to find Dennis out there than me. But please, please <laughs> come out and hear Back Porch Buddha every chance you get. You good stuff. Well, uh, before I let you guys go, uh, give me the details on that last song you guys did up there. <laughs> that that was that was interesting. Ever from the audience to the executive director of this theater. Everyone was entertained by this. That's wonderful. Maybe they can relate. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people can relate to that song. Truth of the matter is, I just about don't drink. I can't say I don't drink, but I'm a guy who has a couple of beers a month. I've um, never seen him drunk. I'll say that. I've yeah, never that's probably seen him true. No. Um, but having said that, I do have substantial experience with people who are drunk. Now, uh, <laughs> here's what I can tell you about that song, is that People who enjoy drinking really like that song. <laughs> People who used to enjoy drinking and no longer do really like that song. <laughs> that song's been incredibly popular with a drinking crowd, maybe even more popular with a, a recovery crowd. So uh, I think that it's got, a, got, both, it's got, it's got, got a wide both. range of experience <laughs> attached to it. Yeah. So as I said, that's um, that's not my that's a that's a true story, but it's not my true story. That's awesome. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. Remains a perfect 